So, we've just downloaded Creation Club's new mod Wild Horses, but is it all that? Let's take a look. Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back. Okay, Bethesda Creation Club has just released a further batch of mods. The one we'll be looking at in this video is Wild Horses. Now, this was meant to be a nice cinematic review with pro and con comments, but it has now turned more into a guide how to find the bloody things. So we'll do that first and I'll give my thoughts on the mod at the end of the video. Oh, and I'll load up a separate video on how to get the unicorn as it would have made this video uh, a bit too long if I'd included it. Hmm. So the first thing we do is head over to Whiterun Stables and speak to Skullvar Sablehilt and buy the map. Ride strong. Seriously guys, I spent so much time trying to find these horses, it's unreal. That's why I kind of changed the uh, the format in this uh, video. And I'd also strongly suggest um, that you get the Detect Life spell. And remember, it rapidly uses up your Magicka, so have something that other gives you more and or makes it regenerate faster. And uh, because you wander around Skyrim, I'd recommend you bring a decent follower to have your back, as you'll be constantly ambushed. Okay, so for this one we can head over to Markarth. I mean, this mod might actually be a lot of fun if you're, um, you know, just want to come across these horses, uh, you know, as, you, as you're wandering around Skyrim. Uh, but there are a lot of places where, really, the chances are you wouldn't go, uh, to be honest with you. Um, well, I'll leave more about that towards the, the end of my review at the end of the uh, the mod. Anyway, so if you pop up around here somewhere, and up here. And what I'll do, I'll show you the, the process is the same for every single horse. So I'll cut most of this out from, you know, the, the, the other horses. And uh, here he is. And he's taking on a necromancer. And he's not doing a bad job either. Now, I'm not seeing the health bar on him. Which might, one, makes me wonder if these horses can be killed or not. And I haven't checked it out. I literally didn't have time. This took me hours and hours and hours to do. So I couldn't fully check out the mod. I'll just leave him to it. Okay. Yeah, let's go and give him a hand. Yeah, didn't take long, did it? Okay, now the idea is they run away from you a little bit and uh, you're meant to get on it and then ride it and it'll try and buck you. I won't show this for every single one of them. Okay, now they try and ride it. And mod horses buck you until tamed, stay mounted until they submit. If you're thrown, try again. Once tamed, you can add a saddle and re rename it in his stable. And off you go. Now, I'm not sure if this is an RNG thing um, or you can actually do anything about it. It kind of felt like if you tip your mouse forward, so you're actually going over the horse. Um, that seemed to make it better or make you less likely to be thrown off. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But you don't really get hurt. Just don't do it near cliffs. You don't want to go over a cliff. Yeah, as you can see, look, I'm tilting over the uh, horse here. Jumps up, getting ready. There you go. Okay, that's it. You've now got the grey spotted horse. I'm going to have a look at it in the sunlight. It's quite a good looking animal. Actually, the, the, the models are really good. I think the horses look fantastic, actually. Really well done. And fair play to the modder. Okay. So this is where our salvia's at farm. And just go down the road and to the left a bit. And you're up there. Okay. This is one of the easiest ones to find. Uh, trust me. 
trust me. So now we go on to the next one. Dapple Brown near Solitude across the river from Catlin's Farm near a dragon mound. Okay, head over to Solitude, Catlin's Farm. I've got the mod Hell Yark in a hall there, uh, which you can fast travel to. Uh, but many of you won't have that, so uh, I'll go straight from Catler's uh, farm. And that's the hall there, by the way. Bio is a fantastic player home. Um, it's on Xbox and uh, obviously PC. Uh, sorry, PS4 guys. Uh, but it's a beautiful home. I did a walkthrough on it and a review. And um, yeah, check it out. It's, it's wonderful. Really is a great home. Okay, just literally go across here. Oops. And swim across. Oh, death bell. Now, I've actually changed um, Tyreen's uh, uh, build, and um, I'll be, when I get a chance, I'm going to put a video up on, on uh, uh, her new style. So, she's actually not really equipped for this kind of thing. So, uh, if I'm looking a bit clumsy in combat, it's because I haven't designed her to do this kind of stuff. But it's a really good build, something I've never done before. So hopefully I'll uh, have that out for you soon. And here he is. And we, I, I don't know if you have to sneak up. It just felt a bit more immersive to do it. And you hop up, and he does the whole bucking thing. And this is him. It's a good looking horse, actually. Oh, the horse model is fantastic. Yeah, well done. Seriously, they look great. Okay. Now we're going to head over to... Uh, east of Helgen. Okay. That was a really straightforward one I wanted to get, so... Yeah, you can set straight away. Now, Hellgear, because I uh, got the alternate uh, uh, start, live another life mod, um, I haven't been there yet. So, you guys should be able to uh, fast travel straight here if you obviously don't have the same mod as I do. And what I'll do, I'll reload it this after I've done this, because uh, I don't want to have started this yet. It's been lovely running around. Uh, Skyrim without dragons, to be honest with you. Anyway, you hook a left to help get into, to get onto the road. So go down the left-hand side as you come up the hill. And this is where the detect life is, uh, comes in handy. Because even though you've got a rough idea where the horse is, they're still quite difficult to find. So you get to this point about right here. And detect life. Okay, just keep on firing that. There it is, just up front there. There you see. There he goes, the blue one. Now, as I mentioned before, okay, you use up a ton of magicka. Um, so if you've got anything uh, that gives you more magicka or makes it regenerate faster, wear it. Okay, hop on. And again, that's it. Okay, and there's Helgen, to the left of Helgen, and up that road up into the mountains. I should be honest here, I haven't, don't think I've explored that road very often. Okay. So yeah, I want to take a little wander up there soon. Okay. Now we're going to head down to Whiterun. These are all the easy ones, by the way. That's another nice looking horse. Okay, so you want to go to the left hand side to see where the arrow is. Just, just there. I'll give you a, a good indication. When your back's here. Okay. And just run down and get him. These three are the easy ones. Didn't take long at all to find.
I mean, same old thing. You hop on, he'll try and throw you. And you basically ride the horse till uh, it submits. And there you go. Quite a nice looking horse. Okay, look at the next one. Spotted white Lower East March in the cliff north of Shorestone. This one took me hours and hours and hours to find. Okay. We're here. So when you come down Shorestone, down the mountain, you get that, uh, you hook a, a right and a bend and then it veers sharply left. It's down the cliffs. So up there's short, a short stone. You hook a right as you come down and before you turn left, over the cliffs, hidden away down there is the bloody horse. I only found it because I was using free cam. I mean, I'm not joking, it took me bloody hours. It was driving me up the wall. And I was searching on the internet, no one no one seems to have found it. <laughs> or, or anyway, written about it on the internet. So yeah, you do the usual thing. And there you go. Actually, it's an attractive little horse, this one. I like this, quite unusual. So there you go. Next up is in Windhelm and to Holly Frost Farm and then go down the coastline a little bit in some trees. Now the direction given in the book, in, in, in the so-called maps, are pretty vague to say the least. And if they're saying nearby blah blah blah, quite often it's nowhere near it at all. So, um, yeah, so off you go. And eventually, he tames, he tames up and uh, you got him. And this is a good horse. I think this one will be a popular one because a lot of people like white horses. Okay, so you've done that, and uh, yep, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, have a little look at him. And last but not least is the one near Falkreath. Um, you can go near Cracked Tusk Keep or the um, Watchtower. Falkreath Watchtower there. Um, it's in between the two, but the easiest way I guess is to go to Crack Tusk Keep and then turn right um, and you'll find him. Okay, again, it took me hours to find this one. Not as bad as the one in the short stone, but it did take me a long time to find this. Again, it's a whole, it's near, it's in this direction kind of thing, but it wasn't. Okay, and some of you guys might get lucky um, and find them straight away, but I do know that I struggled. Really, really did struggle and it's winding me up towards the end, hence I've done the video this way. Anyway, this is a really good looking horse, I do like this one. So we'll just tame him and uh, then what we'll do, we'll head back to White Run and we'll have a look at all the saddles and the other bits and bobs. So here we are, back at White Run stables. And we just go and speak yes. to old Skolvar here. And I'd like to change my horse's saddle. Of course. And you've got a whole range here: the sand saddle, a white saddle, imperial storm cloak saddle. And we'll have a little look at them. So we we'll start with the standard saddle. And there you go. I actually kind of like this. Yeah, I do like this one. That's uh, very sky rimish and sky rimish. Sorry, and this is the white saddle. Purely cosmetic, by the way. They don't actually add any carry weight or anything. Okay, and then we'll have a look at the imperial saddle, which is kind of funky. It's quite a good one. And really good if you're role playing, playing or you're actually in the uh, doing Civil War quests. And next up is the Stormcloak, uh, which I think is actually a really, really attractive one, actually. That's really good. Yeah, I do like this one. I think it's a blue with this horse, actually, goes quite well. 
So again, brilliant for role playing or if you're in the Civil War quest line. Um, but this is a horse I chose with a standard saddle. So, okay, what do I think of this mod? So, let's summarise the features added. Tameable horses and a unicorn that can be registered as a holder of any major city. This may extend to the hearth of my homes, but I haven't checked that yet. Registering a horse is meant to assign that horse to that stable, as well as giving it a random name, but that didn't work for me uh, at all. Uh, note, this could possibly remove the horse originally assigned to the stable, uh, so I'm not sure what would happen if you'd previously register, say, Frost or Shadowmere at that stable. So... Uh, uh, then register another horse. So take care and I strongly suggest you do a hard save to check it out. Um, my thoughts on the mod, I think it's okay. The work done on the horses and saddles is very good and it seems to work with uh, some other horse mods or so I've read on the internet and I'm using better horses and I haven't noticed any conflicts so far. But no, that doesn't mean there isn't any. I'm disappointed you can't have saddlebags that carry extra stuff as you wander around Star Skyrim, for example, um, a summoning feature would have been fantastic, something like an Inigo's Whistle, and that you're not able to actually just set a place for the horse to stay, as you can with Pets of Skyrim, uh, maybe even with a marker. Now, that really would have made this mod worthwhile. Okay, let's go through some of the things I don't like. Uh, one of them is that when you mount another horse, your wild horse will go back to the original location. Now, considering these are all out of the way, that's, uh, that can be a bit of a pain, to be honest with you. Um, and the one major thing I didn't like, and it really, really bugged me, was the quest to find them. You're just wandering around for bloody ages. Now, a couple of them, a few of the horses are actually quite relatively easy to find. Um, but some of them were a bloody nightmare. Uh, they really were a nightmare. And I only found them because I used free cam. Um, but that, obviously, if you're watching this video, won't apply to you because I've shown you exactly where they are uh, and where you can find them. So, yeah, that shouldn't bug you too much. Would I buy this mod? Do you know what? I probably would. It's aesthetically, it's really pleasing. It's nice to have uh, uh, some more horses and actually have saddle uh, saddles as well. I think it looks quite good. And the horse I've chosen, I think, is uh, damn fine. So, yeah, all in all, I probably, I probably would buy it, uh, and especially if I'd had a video like this to come to <laughs> to find them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hope you give enough info to make up a choice whether you want to buy this mod or not. I'll see you next week, guys. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later!